Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm doing another episode of acoustic guitar pickups and today's is the Fishman Aura VT Enhance. So currently if you buy a Martin guitar you can either get the Anthem which we've covered before or the Fishman Matrix Enhance which is a Fishman um, Matrix Infinity pickup with, also with a body sensor which you'll see later or the Aura version of that which is the same pickup but with um, a slight blend of an Aura image microphone image uh, basically an IR so it sounds a bit more natural a bit more microphone like like this now I have covered this pickup before I'll put a link in the description below the HD28 retro that I demoed a little while ago now had the same pickup obviously with a different um, um, or image inside the guitar. I didn't think it sounded that great in the video, but I think some people said it didn't sound good because it sounded kind of artificial. I think, again, I keep saying it, but sometimes the sound we want live does sound a little bit artificial, but I wanted to add the pickup to this series and I want to give it another shot. Okay, so what do we have? We have a battery. Um, the Aura systems have pretty poor battery life, I'd say, around 27, 28 hours. But with a lithium, you get double that. So you get around 50, which is acceptable. But obviously, those batteries cost more money. The controls are a master volume, which is handy, and a um, tone control, which basically scoops the mids and also boosts the treble and bass. So you may like that, you may not. Um, and the control at the bottom of the sound hole is for the enhancer, which is a soundboard transducer SBT pickup right here. And you can actually blend, turn that all the way off in case you're getting feedback or turn it on to give more body tapping sounds and also when you're strumming more kind of acoustic resonance. Okay, so let's hear this guitar. I, I, I really like the guitar. I do feel that the pickup does not affect the unplugged tone, which for me is really important. And I think this guitar sounds great. Let me pull the mic down and give you a play. So it's nice, it's kind of loud and nice bottom end, strong bottom end, uh, nice cutting high end. And I can dig into it, it's really cool. I like the guitar a lot. Basically an HD28 reimagined series. So let me switch over to the guitar's pickup now. I'm gonna turn them, as always, I'll turn the mic off. I'm gonna play you just the raw pickup, everything flat, then the raw pickup with the tone halfway. Um, then the raw pickup with the tone all the way. And then I'm gonna put the tone back just a touch and just add in some body sensor. Again, zero, 50%, 100%. Let's do that right now. I'll turn this mic off, you're just hearing the guitar.
Okay, so what did you think of that? I still think it does sound a bit thin, and I think I know why. I have spoken with Fishman at NAMM shows um, last year, and they told me they, in the preamp they've cut some bass. I can really hear that. I'm expecting a much more punchy bass like the Anthem has. Now, it's not to say it's a bad thing. I do feel the Anthem has an overly, overly punchy bass, and I'm used to that. So it may just be that I'm not used to this um, this uh, sound of the actual more kind of a natural sound. I do find that bringing in the extra sensor adds volume, as you might expect, and also it does add some of that low end back, which is useful. Now, what I've found is because the EQ control is pretty basic, I've actually tried adding an external EQ pedal. So I've got one of the bags pedals on the floor. I'm going to turn it on and show you the difference um, with and without. Now, when I turn it on, I've got the bass boosted, some of the mids cut, because I can still hear a bit of a honkiness in the mids. And then the treble, actually, the treble slightly boosted. That's because in the room I was playing and I wanted even more cut, but I might not want that um, in a recording. Let me just show you, though, what I used on Saturday night, and I thought it sounded really good. I'll turn the mic off again. The first time will be without the pedal, and the second time will be with the pedal. I think it sounds a lot better. So I think this pickup, and, I, and in fact, any pickup, I mean, it's very hard to plug a guitar straight into a speaker and get an awesome sound, but especially because of the room. Remember, you're listening on your phone or on your computer right now. Once you get into a venue, you might need less space. This actual, the natural sound, this might be ideal for a big boomy room where it's gonna feed back a lot, but you might get a smaller room where it sounds weak. So then you add the bottom end back in. I do wish there was a way to do that with the pickup. I wish there was an app or something where you could go in and change the settings yourself and not be stuck with their factory settings. But I do believe that EQ can solve most of the issues with all these pickups. And again, I will be doing videos soon on um, preamps and, and EQ and things. So please do subscribe. Let me just show you that. Let me just pull the mic down one more time and go between the EQ'd guitar sound and the mic sound. Let's just do that as a quick back-to-back -back comparison. First time without the mic, second time without the guitar. So the you hear the pickup and then the mic. Because once again, that mic sound, you wouldn't want that live. That's, I mean, I know this isn't the best mic to be using possibly for the for the job, but it's very like wet and boomy and roomy and, and it just wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to play a kind of rhythmic song because it would get just get lost. The sound would get lost. There's no focus to it. Yeah, so um, revisiting the system, I really like it. Now, going back to what I said before, what I don't like about it, of course, it adds the weight again. It adds the stuff inside. Make sure there's no cables rattling. You're going to have to go through batteries and harm the environment and spend more money on batteries. Some of the gigs a lot might spend 100 bucks a year on batteries if you don't use rechargeable. Um, the plus side is you can plug it into anything. And although you can't tweak it as much as I would like to, you can get a very usable solid sound with the body sounds and everything else. Now, if you don't want body sounds, maybe it's better just to get a Fishman Matrix and use an Aura pedal or a Tone Dexter or something. If you want body sounds, this is a great option right now for something that has a dual source system with body sounds. The only other option really is the Bags or the Maton or the Cole Clark. And I do hope to get one of those to demo at some point if I can borrow one. 
But um, I think this is a solid offering. I hope they continue to work on the Aura technology and the preamp. I hope they can make it more kind of advanced. I hope they can go in there and, and allow us access somehow to tweak that. If only we could press a button and turn all that processing and low cut stuff off. That could be kind of cool. Because I definitely, if you compare a, ma a regular matrix to this matrix, there's definitely some base missing. But bear that in mind, if you go and try this pickup out, in fact, I've been speaking with someone right now about this issue like myself. I said, look, they probably have took some, some low end out, but just use your EQ, add it back in. Okay, it's not ideal, but you can do it. So let me know what you think in the comments about this pickup. And until next time, stay tuned and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.